um, you Anique. Um, I'm in isolation for five days. I just took my radioactive iodine um, treatment. I have my gloves on um, because I am using my phone and I can't uh, contaminate my phone. So I guess depending on what like country or state you're in, um, you would stay in the hospital, but being in California and insurance, anything to save a buck. So you go home. So I had to turn this into my own little ISO room. And I just wanted to share um, what it looks like. So we'll do this. This is my little hallway and that door. So the way their house is um, set up made it really easy. So on that side is living room, kitchen, and another um, bathroom. So my hubby so will stay on that side. So we just close the door and then I will be on the side for five days all of my lonesome. We put uh, plastic on the floor, so it's plastic everywhere because the radiation um, will begin to come out through my skin, like through sweat and bodily fluids, stuff like that. So, plastic. You're required to have your own restroom, so there is our restroom. We plastic um, everything up as much as we could. And my bedroom. Same thing, plastic everywhere, where I think I would be walking. Looks like Dexter got in here. Um, I did my mattress because, um, of course, you're gonna sweat and I didn't want it in my mattress. So we, plastic, and then I'll be doing like sheets and stuff like that. Um, oh, uh, they even require you to Put your mints in plastic because radiation, again, the sweat will contaminate all your stuff. Make you sick later, so make sure you do that. Um, what else? So this is my little ice room. Gloves, paper towels, my own separate trash. Um, this is my little linen bag. Separate linen, not to be washed with anyone else's, only to yourself. Um, oh, and there's gonna be so much linen require you to um, shower at least like you know three four times a day because you sweat the radiation is going to be coming out through your skin so you want to shower and get it off um, so you're gonna have a lot a lot of linen um, hmm what else can I say oh first two hours they say to drink a lot of fluids to help flush out your system um, so you're going to be peeing a lot so, teaching moment. When you pee, before you flush, put the lid down and you're required to flush three times because it's radiation in there. So, keep yourself safe and other people. Um, what else? Oh, what to monitor yourself for. Um, if you get a fever, you want to call your provider. Um, you want to watch for like swelling in like your your neck. Um, if you're having like difficulty breathing um, and if it gets like, you're feeling like your airway's getting kind of like constricted to immediately go to ER um, and then tell them you are on, uh, you just received a radioactive iodine treatment and your radiologist should have given you a little paper saying that uh, what you received. Um, oh, these little, Sour candies, they didn't tell me, but I saw on YouTube on other like videos and I was like reading. With this treatment, your um, salivary glands can get like backed up and not produce a lot of saliva. So you'll have like um, some pain in your, your um, salivary glands. And I don't know, like the right side of mine is kind of getting a little sore, so I'll start doing those. Um, I'll show you. It's just, I got these little like sour icebreaker sour things. So it should help saliva being produced. Make sure my salivary glands are working. Um, so what else? I think that's it. Um, it's my first day, first day of five. So see how this goes. Okay, wish me luck.